I know that out of the first four, many people will say that this is actually the weakest one. But having no experience playing it before, I wanted to come and see if it actually is that bad, or I will like it even more than some of the other ones. I already have done something like that with FNAF 4, so let's see. Is this the best FNAF? Upon starting the game, I did a normal thing of fighting fighting snows and putting it until it exploded. Now, this FNAF is really confusing. I said I'll try to explain the AI in the last one, but I don't really know if I will be able to perfectly explain this one. Beforehand thing, I want to say that in this night, Springtrap is non-existent, so you literally cannot die. It's pretty trollish, but anyway, let's start explaining the phantoms. Phantom Freddy jumps you if you FK basically. Phantom Foxy jumps you if you look at him for too long, causing a ventilation error if you are unlocking his spawns. Phantom BB jumps you if you look at him for too long on camps, causing a ventilation error if you are unlocking his spawns. Phantom Angle jumps you if you look at her for too long on camp 3, causing an audio error if you are unlucky and he or she spawns. What technology can jump you if you look left after you trigger her if you are unlucky and she spawns on camp 7? Pop it just stares you down, not letting you do anything if you are unlucky and she spawns on camp 8. You might have already seen a bit of a repeating sentence. There are ways to avoid the attacks by mostly just trying to switch camps or avoid contact with the phantoms, but luck is still a pretty major thing. <sighs> Now to Sprinkler, he's the only thing that can actually kill you, so you have to keep him away from your office. How? Well, you use audio lures that have a chance of not working if you are unlucky. If it does work, which it will to be fair for most of the times, he will move to the camp you have audio lured. When he decides where to go, he's going to move, playing some intense static on the screen. That static is really important because it plays even when there is a video error, so you can know that he moved. When he gets to around the middle of the map, the stress music will be played and it will get louder the closer he gets. Once he gets to cam 1, though through various many methods, he can only stall for time, audio luring him in that cam. Once he gets to your door, you're dead because the single thing that makes you not die is staring him in the eyes. Anything else you do, or even if you get a ventilation error, will get you killed. If he enters the vent, you are pretty much dead if you don't already have it set. Now, talking about the errors. You might have seen that there are three. Audio, which basically breaks when you have used your audio lures. Video, that makes you not be able to see. And ventilation. Now, ventilation. This lets spring up kill you, makes you not be able to see as well, makes you not be able to breathe and consequently not really be able to hear, adds hallucinations of spring trap to the map and most importantly it makes the idiot faster. And when I say faster, I really am not kidding. That combined with aggressive mode on, that alone gives this man a world recording speed. Like if you are not paying attention and you go reboot, this idiot can get to your office before you to even have a chance to get to the half point of your input. Just take a look at this clip. Hello. Hello. How the fuck did you get here? Anyway, I almost forgot to explain the reboot function. If one of your system fails, you can go ahead and reboot it. That's it. Oh, and you also can reboot all, which is good for moments when you have multiple elements. 
Now, for most of this video, I used the strat of trying to keep Springtrap as far away as possible, but I recently discovered another strat. Just get the one into camp 2, because the ways to your office from there are through the vent, which you hopefully sealed already, or by going in front of your office, but you can just see him without even opening camps when he does that. So just call him back and pray the audio lure works. If he backtracks out of that cam, you can hear the ambience changing. I only use this for night 6, but holy shit this is enough explaining. Let's get to the nights already, Jesus. Also, you probably saw I just went through the first 3 nights while I was explaining, because they are way too easy. Night 4 is when things actually start getting a bit harder, so let's finally see. Okay, he's there. Um, don't. After learning of an unfortunate... Wanna go? Oh okay, he moved. I think it's in camp step. Uh, 10. I think I can reboot. Really quick. What? At least... Oh, wait. It's right there. Okay, he moves. Right, go back, Mr. Rabbit. It's here, right? Moved, okay. Hello. Go back, you idiot. Did he move back? I guess so. Was it good? Ah, okay. Well, easy enough. Yeah! Follow my ass, because you kill me. Okay, let's see, night 5. This might be a bit harder than normal. How the fuck is your idea? You go to camp 10 and I'll uh, follow her idea. Good. Okay. I guess he's in camp 10. Where the fuck is he? Wait, him? No. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh oh. Where is this rabbit? Wait, was no. Oh, wait. Hello. Ready, fast bear. Uh, did he go in this vent? He did. Idiot. I should wait for. Oh well. Hello there. Do you want a cup of coffee? He did not want a cup of coffee. Are an idiot. Did you know that? Oh wait, it's a vent. Which vent? <coughs> God damn it, Rabbit. Oh. 
is is not good. Oh. He moved his. Okay, so he's pretty far away. Please just end already. No way. I lose. What just end already? What is happening? You lose, Spring Trap. You are an idiot. Can we move on to night six already? Where did he go? Hello. Come okay. That's about time, to be honest. What the fuck did I do? Well, 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 Mr. Purple Guy. Now he gets into the costume. It's like, ah ha ha, you do it. Doesn't know that he is actually the idiot. I just die already. I want to go to night six. Bad ending. Hell yeah. All right, now to night six. Hello, rabbit. Go back, thank you. Oh, yeah. why did I put on? Why did I put on? And after, did I seal the? Did I seal the? I did not seal the van. I forgot. Hello, go back, thank you, very good. Hi. Now, where did you even come from? <clears throat> Stupid rabbit. Where the hell even is he? Captain, easy shit. Yeah, let's see the fence. Move to camp nine. Yes, let's see the other hand. I guess Freddy appeared. Move to camp. I don't know. I'm talking about I don't know where he is. Well. Average one of three gameplay. You did not seem you wanted to go there. Are you sure you don't want to? Well, did you actually? Holy oh, shit, did it stack a lot of errors. Uh, I think he back there. No, he's still here. I think he's still here. Hmm. Oh, where are you? This 
is not in my area. No, it is the whole. No, 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 no. Did I seal the? Holy shit! I think I did. Oh my god, that was the half second. Like that was clutch. Okay, let's not fuck. Oh, idiot! You thought I unsealed the band. You're an idiot, actually. Oh no! Please, I have to go ahead with only the ventilation. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, he's not in my area. I think I can also put cams. He's moving somewhere. Oh well. To be honest, that was. But to be honest, that was harder than I would have expected, but good enough. Fast burst fright burns to the ground, a new local attraction based on an ancient pizzeria chain burned down overnight. Okay, bro. Authorities have not rolled out foul play. Okay. Hell yeah, I've got two stars. Let's see, new extras. But I'm scared. Okay. I think I understand why people say that the transfer has bad. So yeah, this is it. Night 6. There is only one more thing to do with the game and that is aggressive mode. But that is for another time. If you show me enough support on this video. Anyway, now let's see. Is this the best for enough? Well, the short answer here, that is no. The long answer is no. Plus, why the fuck is this dead rabbit faster than Flash? Now seriously, the game is fine. I don't think it is as bad as people say, but the lack required is pretty annoying. Don't get me wrong, the game is, and my items contain a lot of skill issue too, but I just didn't have as much fun with this one as I had with the other ones. It's still a good game. If you play the other ones in the series, I definitely recommend you try this one too. As I said, sub and leak the vid, so I get, have to do aggressive nightmare too. Which is basically just the hardest possible night in this one. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.